The weekend has come. The weekend is gone. I'm a little older, but we've got baseball to talk about. Hey guys, it's Josh the 90 Know It All coming to you today to talk about what happened over the weekend, give you guys some updates on things that are going on. It's, well, baseball is full blast at all levels. You got high school ball about to start here in the Northwest. I think down in Arizona, Texas, California, those areas, it's already up and running. Um, probably because the weather's a lot nicer down there. But baseball in the Northwest, we got that going on. Softball started, spring training games, lots of stuff going on. But before we jump into all of our weekend review, please take a moment, guys. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. It's easy. Just down below, click subscribe. Or at the end of this video, I'll have a little thing with my logo right up here. You just click on that, click subscribe. That way you know when videos come out. You get notified through an email, and you guys can stay up to date with what's going on. But let's jump into the weekend review. First of all, thank you to all you guys who gave me birthday, happy birthday wishes on Sunday. Sunday was my birthday. I took the day off, didn't write any articles, didn't do any videos, just kind of relaxed, and actually had a pretty cool day. Got some birthday presents from my family as well as some birthday presents from myself. Uh, from my family, we got cards. What a surprise. And from myself, I got cards. Also, what a surprise. I'm actually torn on this one. I bought this one yesterday down at the card shop. Uh, I'm not going to say where I bought it because it's kind of my place. I get the retro cards. I don't want anybody else to find out about. But I bought this box, brought it home, was like, yeah, I'm excited to open it. And then when I got home, home I realized I'm almost more excited to hold on to it and not open it. So I'm in debating right now as to whether I'm going to open the, the retro cards. I mean, if you guys have watched the previous videos, you know I still have three other boxes of unopened retro cards. I got like an 88 Don Russ, a 90 Don Russ, and I think a Fleer as well. So I've got a few different sets that I just... I don't know if I want to open the packs. I almost like having the unopened box more than opening up since I already have pretty much every card in those sets. I think having the unopened box of packs is more exciting for me, but there may come a day when I have an itch to open the box and just tear through all the cards, see what there is. You know, maybe I'll get lucky with, with this set. I'll get the, uh, the Frank Thomas error card that doesn't have his name in it. I'm pretty sure it's this set that has it. Um, you know, it's only a few thousand dollar card. That's it. But I probably won't have it in there, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But weekend was fun. Like I said, it was my birthday weekend. Just relaxed. Had fun. Didn't do any baseball at all. And the reason for that is because this upcoming weekend is really the weekend that kicks it off full blast for me. Honestly, looking at my calendar, there's not really going to be a weekend off for me till maybe September... And even then, I've already got a two-week vacation, not a full two weeks, but close to it, uh, planned for being down in Arizona. I'm going to cover the Arizona Fall Classic, uh, the junior and the senior event this year. And then my family will actually meet me down there. We'll do some stuff in the, in the middle of the week, and then they'll hang out by the pool while I'm taking more photos of the game. So really, it's going to be busy from this upcoming weekend all the way through October, uh, doing fall ball up here. Stuff is always going on. So, yeah, I want to take my birthday weekend off, relax a little bit, give myself a little time to get some energy and get ready for the 2020 baseball softball season. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, in fact, I, I've actually talked to a few individuals from different teams and leagues, uh, the Cascade Collegiate League. I'll be photographing them again this year. Might even be doing a lot more this year than I did last year, which is really exciting for me. I'm excited to get a part of that. But, guys... Looking at the Major League level, we got stuff that was going on this weekend. Uh, the Astros played, and they started stealing signs already. Uh, not signs from the ballpark, but signs from fans who brought signs in that didn't have cuss words, didn't have anything vulgar, just simply had an asterisk and stuff like that. That doesn't look good for the Astros. Let's, let's be honest. It does not look good for them to be taking signs from the fans. Signs that aren't rude, aren't crude, aren't demeaning. They're just for fun. You got to do better than that, Astros. You've struck out, 
I don't know how many times this offseason you can't go stealing signs from from fans. It's just it's just too easy. It makes yourself too easy of a target. It is what it is. But guys, we did have games. I want to get, kind of look at some of the re, some of the recaps of what we got right now. The my World Series pick to win it all, the Marlins. They are three and zero. They're just tearing up the Grapefruit League. And if you can't tell, they're not my World Series pick. But it is interesting. They are going out there playing well. Does that mean they're going to play good in the regular season? No, not at all. But it is what it is. I mean, I mean, if you look at this. I think let's see, Detroit. Yeah, Detroit's two and one, but they had to win on a walk-off hit against an NAIA school. Which don't get me wrong, I have tons of respect for NAIA, tons of respect for D two schools, even JUCOs. If you know me, I respect all levels of baseball. But a major league baseball team shouldn't have to walk off a game, uh, even if it is your minor leaguers who are playing. You should be able to beat a team, you know, at least in a solid way. So. Big respect to the NAIA schools who competed this weekend. There were some good games, some good athletes. Uh, in fact, I was watching one game. I think it was uh, Boston and Northeastern. And Northeastern's got some dudes. They've got some guys who can flat out hit, flat out play the game. It was impressive. I was impressed by by these guys competing against you know top level pitchers and how they were doing. So baseball's going on. Like I said, Marlins are three and zero. The Twins are 2-0, last I checked. Uh, Dodgers are 2-0. Texas is 2-0. Look down at the bottom of the standings, Oakland's 0-3. And that's, obviously, that's not going to be a predictor for this year because I think they're far better than that. Uh, Pittsburgh's 0-3. New York Yankees are 0-2. Not going to be a reflection of this year. The guys have only played, you know, a couple innings each at a time. I think Garrett Cole throws today. He's probably already done with this game at this point. I'm pretty sure he was thrown today, and the lineup was pretty solid behind him. So it's fun seeing these guys get out, being active, being a, you know getting ready for the season. Uh, Zach Granke's finally reported to camp for the Astros, and I love his quote. Uh, he had a quote, what was it, yesterday. He's like, I didn't realize that it wasn't mandatory for us to, to report until this point. If I had known that 10 years ago, I wouldn't have reported until this time every year. And I love that. I love that he is... He is so interesting. I know he has his social anxieties, that type of stuff. And, you know, I got a lot of respect for him to overcome those things. Because, you know, I've worked in the mental health field uh, overseeing some crisis departments. And he is, he's a, he's a competitor. To be able to have that kind of issue and still go out there in front of large crowds, and that type of stuff. He, he, he's the real deal. He's very talented. Uh, down-to-earth guy from what it seems like. I'd love to sit down and talk with him one day. I think he's he's one of those players who I think it'd be enjoyable one-on-one. Uh, Trevor Bauer, another guy. I think it'd be so much fun to talk, talk with him one-on-one. With no cameras, just let him go and let him talk. He'd be fun to talk about. So, you know, nothing really big. It's spring training. You know, wins, losses don't mean anything. Home runs don't mean a whole lot. Strikeouts. I mean, right now pitchers are could go into a game and throw – 20 fastballs and no off-speed pitches because they're just trying to get the feel of the game again. So you really don't, you know, buy into the spring training stuff. Uh, you do get some pitchers. You look at their their speed, how fast they're throwing to start the, the off-season or start the spring training area, just see where they're at in their recovery or change of mechanics, that type of stuff. So a lot of fun stuff going on. I, I love it. It's fun to watch. I've been watching the highlights. Uh, I don't have MLB TV anymore because I – decided that wasn't worth it since I can't even watch uh, teams in my area that I'm blacked out from. So don't have that, but I still watch the recaps, and the recaps are fun. You know, that's always cool. Once the season gets going, I know they have the free game of the day, so I'll catch those for sure. Turn those on, watch it. But I've really been loving ESPN+, Plus, and I didn't think I would. I'm not a big fan of ESPN lately. Uh, last couple years, really been down on it. But they have softball and college baseball, college softball, college baseball on their ESPN plus. They have usually one or two games every day that I can go and watch. And I'm loving it. I love just turning that on. I can just turn on the game and go do what I'm doing around the house and just listen to the game. It's actually pretty good. It's not a bad deal. I have Disney plus and Hulu and, and ESPN in a big package. So really just have it for the, the Disney plus cause Marvel star Wars fan. But at the same time, 
you know, I get a nice little perk, you know, watch some softball and college baseball, and it's enjoyable. I, I like it. It's fun. And, you know, baseball is baseball. I don't care what level it is. But like I said, guys, this weekend is a big weekend for me. I'm going to be covering Lower Columbia College Baseball. Uh, they'll be playing the uh, community college from Spokane Falls. Uh, they'll be coming to town. I'll be actually there to start that game. And then I'll be driving over to Kelso, which is where I live. Longview and Kelso are pretty much the same city. Uh, to, for the start of the game for the Lower Columbia uh, softball team. They're actually playing Shoreline softball team. So I'll be watching those games, photographing those games, going back to the baseball game. And then on Sunday, there's only two baseball games. There's once again Spokane versus Lower Columbia. So I'll be covering both those games. And out there, I'll probably do some video out there. Uh, like I said, I've been having a lot of fun doing video and photography as always. Trying to get some more video in for the Baseball Northwest documentary I'm kind of creating. That one won't be very long. I'm guessing probably 10, maybe 15 minutes total. But I'm also doing that JUCO documentary. I'm hoping that one gets to be about 25 minutes long. That's my really my goal is to have that be about 25 minutes long. That'd be perfect in length. Uh, it might be longer if I get some more interviews, but we'll see. Still got a lot of work to do on that one just beginning, and I am not a talented or experienced video maker, so still new to that. A lot of fun just experimenting, but I'm enjoying it. So, guys, that's the weekend recap. Once again, we got baseball at all levels. Softball is going crazy. My summer truly kicks off this weekend of just nonstop every weekend covering games from high school, college, summer college leagues. Probably do a few minor league games this year. Didn't do any last year, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. But guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and guys, catch you later.